today's video, we are going to talk about Septarian. Septarian, and this is commonly called Dragonstone. Um, one thing I'm going to try to do is shorten my videos a little bit. Um, I think they might be a little bit too long, <laughs> like 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to shorten them up and um, hopefully that'll help with, I don't know, I can't help it. A lot of times I get into this and I just keep talking and talking and talking because I love to talk about crystals. Yeah, so today we're talking about Septarian and Septarian. This one is perfect for grounding. Um, not its best primary use, which I'll get into in a minute, but this is a great stone for grounding. And it definitely gives that deep, deep earth energy off. One of the best for that. And this is great for the root chakra. It also is good for the bottom three chakras, um, up to the soul as high as the solar plexus. But I would say primarily root chakra. And this is going to be bringing those deep, deep earth energies right up through that root chakra to balance and stabilize and really connect you and your body with the earth. And this is one of the best to do that. This is ancient. This, this stone is ancient. And with that ancient stone is going to come with all that ancient, awesome energy and tons of ancient energy from this. And this is a cool one though. This is a polished piece and there's a lot of yellows and, and stuff in it. Uh, also, like I said, great for the solar plexus, the bottom three chakras. Definitely. If you're going to work with, you know, Reiki, that kind of stuff, this is perfect for those chakras. And the main benefit, and let me show you before I get into more, th this is commonly called Dragonstone. And I could, you know, just by looking at this, you could kind of see why. If you polish it up, which is very common in this format, they make an egg out of it. And with all the crystallation in there, just beautiful. I don't know if I could get in there, but awesome the way this crystallizes. You could actually see all the way through this one. But you could see why they call this Dragonstone. It looks like a dragon egg. And they kind of sell it in that fashion. Um, but they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. And I have a bunch here, which I'm going to uh, show you from my collection. But this is great for past life recall. And in terms of grounding A+, plus, I'll give it an A. The next best thing, past life recall. And it makes it easier to use. Like I said in some of my past videos, some of them you really got to get into a deep meditative state and work with energies to get those uh, past life you'll get little scenarios at times in your mind um, and it gets a little, it could be overcomplicated when you're trying to delve into past life stuff. Um, but this stone really helps make it easier. It might not be the best one for past life stuff. I still think there's another one better and that'll be in a later video, but Septarian is one of the best. And here's something cool too. You pair this with Quartz, I mean, you could pair anything with quartz, really. And especially septarian, you pair this with quartz and you're going to get that extra amplification to really help with past life recall. And this one, as you can see, is a polished slab. Just gorgeous. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. And you could see how this one's cut and wow. Septarian is a really pretty looking stone. You have to say, you have to admit that. Um, but past life recall, the best thing to do, put it near you sleeping. You pair it with a little piece of quartz, big piece of quartz, whatever you got. And your intentions are the most important part when you're using quartz. 
So if you're pairing this up and you want to delve into past life memories, this is the stone. This is one of the best. And while you're sleeping, that's the place where you're going to get those little bit of memories. Keep a, a, a journal next to your bed. The best thing is to keep like a little notepad or something. As soon as you wake up, jot this stuff down, type it, whatever the case, uh, put it in a little voice recorder because you might think, oh, I'll remember, it'll be gone. And there's times where you pop up in the middle of the night, but if you're serious about it and you want to remember stuff from your past lives, this is the one. So I would keep a a uh, little journal or something just to keep uh, all that fresh. Cause you, you will forget. I'm telling you, you think you're going to remember you will forget. Here's another one. That's a polished piece. This one's got a little weight to it. Just gorgeous. This one, I think they call a uh, flame because of the way it looks just another specimen. I want to show you guys. Um, but in terms of metaphysical stuff, septarian perfect for grounding. That's, one of the best and past life recall. And it's a very strong conduit for that deep earth energy, very deep earth energy. That's going to come up straight through your root chakra and work some wonders for you. And here's something. Some people say that this is a spiritual awakening stone. And I absolutely believe it. Um, just holding it, some people claim to have a spiritual awakening. And it's kind of think of it like this. Imagine walking into um, the dark, in like the darkness and then flipping on the light switch. That's kind of a spiritual awakening where you have now, it could be anything that's uh, uncovered to you. Something from a past life, something from this life, energies released. It, it could be anything from personal to something that a higher being is trying to communicate with you, whatever the case may be, but that might be a more personal thing. But from a spiritual awakening perspective, another excellent stone. And it's very commonly talked about in the metaphysical community that this could be a good one for spiritual awakening. But the main things, very strong earth energy you're going to get out of this. It's going to be grounding, it's going to be stabilizing, and it's a very powerful teacher once you connect to this thing. Just awesome. And, of course, past life recall. I would put this in my top three with past life recall. Now, let me move this guy, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you two of my bigger specimens. This one is monstrous. Look at this guy. This is a beautiful sphere. And I have seen spheres in crystal shops that actually come with the piece here that you could take out and put it back like a geode. Just gorgeous. But look at the crystallization in here. I mean, awesome. This is uh, one of my bigger pieces. This is a heavy one. And then this guy, I'm saving to last. I want to show you. This is a monster egg. Look at this thing. And this has got some weight to it. This is a beast. And look at the crystallization. And this is your classic septarian dragon egg. And I have this front and center on my fireplace. And see this sucker every day. Awesome. Awesome specimen. So, like I said, I'm trying to cut these down a little bit. Um, I could talk about crystals and I just keep blabbering on but i'm trying to make videos a little shorter um, to keep people's interest and not bore you guys to death so i'm going to end it with here and um one thing i before i end it definitely keep watching because this guy right here is going to be my first crystal giveaway uh coming up very soon and i'm going to have this listed probably by the weekend. Um, I'm going to give it about a week and it's going to be given away for free. No strings attached. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I don't care where you live. I will box it, package it, and ship it to you for free. 
no strings attached, nothing. So definitely keep watching because if you want this guy, stay tuned. Everybody have a great weekend and I will talk to you very soon. Oh, 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 oh,